Wow, look at that. That's bacterics. Hi everybody, welcome back to North Carolina's Best Chefs. I'm your host Mike Gonzalez on WNCN. I tell you what, I'm at an awesome restaurant. It's a Puerto Rican restaurant up here in North Raleigh called Latin Quarters. And I discovered this, oh, maybe 10 days ago. And I, th I have to say, this is my new favorite place. This is Randy Hernandez. He's one of the owners here. Uh, thanks for being with us tonight. Hey, thanks, Mike. Thanks for joining us. Well, tell us a little bit about the restaurant, because a lot of people aren't familiar with Puerto Rican food. First of all, let's talk about the cuisine. What makes Puerto Rican food different than, let's say, Mexican food? Because a lot of people get those two mixed up a little bit. Well, uh, primarily the difference is Mexican food is, is very spicy. Um, and everything has cheese, right? right. <laughs> Our food has just is made out of herbs and spices, but it's not spicy. Um, and we use everything like from culantro to tomatoes to onions to oregano uh, to season our food. So it has a lot of flavor, our food. Walk into Latin Quarters in North Raleigh and it's like stepping into a slice of La Isla. The specials are awesome. Uh, food's great, prices are great. It's got the lamb flavor to it and that's what we love. Randy Hernandez, who owns Tropical Pick and Chicken in Wake Forest, took over the restaurant eight months ago. Hernandez changed the menu, added partner Julio Marrero to manage the restaurant, and chef Anthony Alvarez to complete the team. The restaurant focuses on Puerto Rican food with a touch of Cuban and Dominican as well. Well, the other restaurant is Tropical Pick and Chicken. Uh, that's where it all started. It's a smaller restaurant. It seats about 40 people. Uh, previously, it was a Cuban and Dominican restaurant. Uh, we just we kept it like that for about a year and then we turned it strictly Puerto Rican and once we uh, announced that we were a Puerto Rican restaurant, the feedback was phenomenal. And it's the food that makes Latin Quarters so special. Okay, we are back in the kitchen with Chef Anthony Alvarez here at Latin Quarters. Excited to be here. Man, I'm excited to be with you. You're like an, you're an artist back here. Well, I got a great one for you, Mike, today. I'm going to make traditional pasteles. Pasteles en hoja is an original recipe for my family, uh -huh. a traditional. Every single holiday we cook this, and it's all a family, a family thing. So I'm going to bring you to my kitchen. Well, I'm excited about that. Before we get to that, tell, tell me a little bit about, you know, the, the love that you bring to this. Because you were telling me, you know, every, you know, this really is an art form in a sense, and that, that every chef sort of has their own style. And tell me a little bit about how, how your family plays in, in that part. Well, my family, since I was a little kid, I'm the youngest one of six. And my mother always taught us that if you're going to cook something, do it with love. Uh -huh. And this is uh, something that you want people to taste and people to love your taste of food. So this is what I bring to the kitchen. I bring all my heart and soul into it. And, and it's different spices, very flavorful, a lot of flavor in my food. And I want everybody to taste a little bit of our cooking. All right. Latin Quarter way. I'm excited. That's why I love this guy, because he's got passion. All right, we're going to set you loose. Yes. Remembering my, my mother's instructions always was peel every single item. You peel the calabaza, you peel the yuca, you peel the yautia, you peel the guineo, you peel the platano and then you grind it fine to the masa. This becomes the masa for the pateles. You gotta cook every single meat ingredient. This is the pork, we make a little pork stew with a little family secrets uh, ingredients. This is the oil. This is the oil with achote. We make it with the pits, the achote pits. And this is the aceitunas. And this is the garbanzo beans, right? Everything is freshly prepared. So then we go. We put the little oil. This is how we start. You gotta put the oil on the leaf. That gives it flavor and color. Right? Do that. Real nice. Get those leaves in. Those leaves you could get at a local supermarket. You know, you ask for the platano leaf. Yeah. Then we do the masa. We put the masa. You spread it a little bit. Right? All like that. And remember, this is all the different ingredients and everything has to be cooked separately and then put, put together. So, there we go with the meat. Put the meat right in the middle. And that masa kind of keeps it together. Explain to people who don't know what masa is. Masa is just the consistency of the, of the verduras all grind up together and they make like, like what they call atamale, but this is, right. we call it pasteles in Puerto Rico. So, then after here, we go. And it's, the flavor is intense. You put this to a boil, 
You put the garbanzo beans, boom, garbanzo beans. A lot of people put different stuff, different families, this, different recipes. A lot of people put raisins. I don't put raisins. I love raisins, but I don't put it. Then you fold it, right? You fold it, bag it together. We do it with aluminum foil here because this is like, ma we do it like mass production. So it's a restaurant, but this is very time consuming and very lengthy. And this is a patele, right? Then we put it to a boil for about 45 minutes to an hour. Oh, wow, that long. Huh? Yeah, 45 minutes to an hour. That's why our meals are special because we make everything from scratch and we do everything with love, with flavor for the people. So this is what we do. You put it to a boil, 45 minutes to an hour, and then you get the finished product, which is the pateles. And I got one for you. Right. So this is the finished product, right? This is the finished product, pateles, you know. So this comes out of the pot super hot. So you got to be careful opening the leaves, right? There goes the leaf. Oh, wow, look at that. That's pateles. That's what we want. Eso es pastele en hoja. So my abuela used to make. Uh-huh. Yeah. You love the flavor, right? Yeah. So that's basically what we do here in Latin Quarters. We're trying to make everybody feel like at home.